Ooh. So we made the tricks. Yeah, we did, finally. Uh, real men, we finally climbed a, I don't know, thousand steps. I'm gonna look it up tonight, but it was a lot. It, was, it felt like it was straight up. Yeah, this was like uh, 50 floors that we climbed. It's about six miles altogether. Since we started from the uh, center, the, <laughs> the, the welcoming center, Till now, so this is the highest point of the whole place. Uh, tell us a little bit about this place. Well, I was going to say we've got to walk at least three, maybe four miles out of here yeah. just to get out, just back to the car after we hang up on this video. Uh, it's been fascinating. Uh, like I say, this is 2,000 years old. Uh, all the rock carvings, the things that have survived, it's kind of like Ephesus, but in a different way. Ephesus was built up from the ground in marble-like kinds of constructions. This is built into the cliffs. Uh, with like red sandstone or whatever the kind of rock that this is and it's, it's just remarkable and beautiful and as I said before the culture here was quite impressive uh, at the time of its peak because it was a crossroads you know for all the trade routes in the ancient times. You uh, one thing uh, I, I noticed uh, Alex as we get out up here mm -hmm. many Bedouins many local people have their cell phones yeah. and they have a FaceTime yeah. talk. Yeah, we and should mention that. Uh, I mean, we've seen, I don't know, 10, 12 at least, men and women and young people on their cell phones. And one guy was on the back of a donkey, clearly playing a video game, because I could hear it. it Sounds like my grandsons. And, uh, you know, they're engaged. So they're connected, as I said in that other video. Uh, the monastery behind me, they isolated themselves. And we at Sat7, we don't want to isolate ourselves. We want to speak truth to culture today and uh, share Christ through available technology, which is satellite television. Uh, to talk to the everyday person in all these different Arab and Persian and Turkish countries. So imagine through uh, the uh, help of our friends back in the U.S. Now we can have people watching the Sat7 through their cell phones, even in the Bedouin tent or even in Monsieur. Absolutely, and the next phase for us, God willing, and it's going to be costly. It's just the way it is. You know, there's a time we went from analog to digital. Yes. Now it's imperative that Sat7 go from digital to what's it called HD. Yeah. And if we don't do that, pretty soon we're buggy whips. You know, we are, we're out of date, we're, we're uh, ancient, we're not of any use, and people won't watch us anymore because the contrast and the quality will be so great they won't stay with us. So that's, that's a lot of funds, but uh, it's not impossible for God to provide it in order to uh, continue to make an impact in the Middle East. Amen. And meanwhile, we have a lot, like about three hours to walk down <laughs> if we make it, so uh, wish us luck. Yeah, we can make it and uh, maybe lose a few pounds that wouldn't hurt yes. to do that either. So, <laughs> so hey, from Jordan, we'll see you again.